Hello everybody and welcome to Sakura Spirit. <laughs> Damn it, I, w I was going to do, um, I was going to say, um, Bankai, Zenbon Sakura Kageyoshi. Um, <coughs> kind of interesting visual novel to be sure. Um, um, I w little story first, um, very quick. I was going, I was going on Steam. Because I was like, hmm, maybe there's a new game out. And I scrolled down to the um, uh, coming soon, see what was available, see if there was any new visual novels or. Um... Let's close the bloody door. And then a new episodic game or anything. Um, no, so I was very disappointed. Scrolling back up, um, uh, I saw. Um, those, you know where it shows the ga the games going across on the banner on Steam. I was like, when it went across, I was like, hang on, what was that? What was that? Uh, I was like, it, it looks at, like an anime. So, click back. Saw the picture. Yeah, it, it was beautiful. Clicked on it. But out of sheer curiosity. And I saw on the side, it was a visual novel. I was like, oh, okay. So, um, I clicked to see what, the check to see what the, um, story was about, um, well, not the story, but the summary, sum, s summary of, that isn't spoilers in the description for Steam. And then looking at the tag, still the tag called fan service. Oh, that's just beautiful. So yeah, big breasts. <laughs> I do apologize. So let's begin. Every person has a dream they wish to pursue. Yet, as people grow up, they often are forced to realize that obtaining that dream is just that a childish illusion that's a childish illusion that is simply impossible to reach out for what what am I not playing this game Because <laughs> I just wrote that yesterday, literally, I'm not kidding at least that's what most people say. Then what about those who do accomplish their dreams? Are they merely incredibly, incredibly lucky? Probably. Dad, every man has a dream they want to accomplish. Ooh. However, there is something really important you should know, my boy. That a real man, real man, doesn't give up on their dream, no matter what overwhelming challenges they might face. I take, I, Drink tea to that. Smashing. Hold on, let me, um... Preferences. That does bugger all. That should be fine. Doesn't even look like it makes a difference. Sounds like, rather. I still remember those foolish words my dad used to say. Yet despite their silly nature, I found myself inspired by them. Ever since I was a child, I was interested in martial arts. It didn't matter whether it was following a match on television or reading a manga about some heroic martial artist. I've never watched or... Well, I've never watched an anime about martial arts. If it was incorporated, it was only for like a small episode and that was it. <laughs> it always... It always been a dream for me to become a martial artist someday. Of course, it was a bit childish to admit I wanted to learn martial arts to be able to be a hero. Uh, while at my age, I already came to understand superheroes were a part of our imagination, I still held the desire to use my power for, for others, their sake. For others' sake. The typos! Tuck a hero. Fabulous. My name is Takahiro. I am not saying that na the first name for the life of me. 17-year-old rising judo star. And no, that's not meant... And no, that's not me doing some smug talking. I'm actually about to take part in a competition two weeks from now that could make or break my career at an international level. Of course, I was excited about the opportunity to finally accomplish my dreams and represent my country at a sport that I loved, but the same excitement also made me feel incredibly nervous. I'm not surprised. 
While those worrisome thoughts haunted my mind, a familiar voice resounded from outside the window. Oh my god. Koyomi. Let's call her Yomi. I'm, is it a Yomi? Well, normally for these type of things, it is a girl. <laughs> Oi, Takakun, get your butt in gear. Seek her to gear. Ha, I'll be there now, Yomi. Zuko, now waiting to keep... Oh, let's go, Koyomi. Koyomi waiting, I quickly dashed toward the front door to let her... Yep, it was a her in. Not realising that I was still in my in pyjamas. Well, this is a yeoman... Um, a yeoman? <laughs> really? A moment, Koyomi. Got to grab my shoes and then we can go to school. Really? I didn't know our school had a strict uniform or sleepwear policy, dummy. Nice jammies. But by the way, did you borrow them from your mum? For a moment, my eyes drifted downwards. <laughs> Noticing that I was indeed wearing my pyjamas, I let out a groan of annoyance and marched back towards my room. Bah! There's nothing wrong with my jammies. The Golden Knight is a famous comic book hero in the West. Besides, not everyone prefers to sleep naked like... Ooh! <laughs> Flashbacks of high school DxD. Mumbling those words, I started stripping out of my clothes, seemingly not minding the presence of the girl behind me at all. Oh, that's what you look like. <laughs> what? Did I skip something? Oh! He said it aloud. Idiot. <laughs> that, that happened one time. You know it. You know it was super hot that evening. And jeez, warn me before you strip in front of me, you idiot. You didn't mind it when we were little. Perhaps you want me to turn around instead. Oh, are we dealing with a harem right now? No, stop. Don't make me kick your ass. Deciding I had teased her enough, I quickly pulled on my pants and resumed working on the remaining few items of clothing before I was suitably dressed for school. Besides, I had a reason for being so distracted. You've been distracted a lot lately. What's going on in that hollow skull of yours? It's our upcoming match. I've got no idea how anyone can remain calm when an international career is at stake. Oh my god. I wouldn't be surprised if I started making up enough doomsday scenarios to fill up the apocalypse genre. Oh right, the judo thing. I'm sure you'll do fine. I've seen some of your matches and you kick butt. And of course, if, you re if you're really worried, you could always pray. I ain't religious. Pray. What? Don't tell me you don't know. It's one of the school's legends. There's some shrine up in the forest that if you pray it to it, it'll give you good luck. Oh my. Ichikawa-san said that his sister prayed to it that night before her exam, and she got 100%. A shrine that is said to give you good luck? Sounds bogus to me, but at this point I'll be trying out anything, I guess. I hope I'm louder than the music, dear God. Maybe I'll talk to our classmates to get the location of, this, of that shrine. I'm not exactly in the mood to get lost in the forest and turn into a Japanese... <laughs> and turn into a Japanese Tarzan. Uh, well, whatever. If you do go looking, at least send me a message to let me know. Are you going to hurry up or are we, go or are we going to be late again? A hero is never too early. Nor are they too late. They arrive precisely when needed. <laughs> Beautiful. But for the sake of missing detention, let's hurry. <laughs> That's a wizard, not a hero, genius. How can one person be such a sports nerd and such a geek at the same time? Let's not forget the Casanova and, and Man of the Year candidates bits. They are important details. Um, 
Okay. I doubt you qualify as either of them, Pajama Boy. Anyway, let us... Anyway, let us bodily go where everyone has gone before. To school! <laughs> Ugh, nerd. Several hours later. Thank God the music is dying down. Dot to dot. Dot to dot. Dot to dot. It had been during the afternoon when I finally had the chance to talk to my classmates in an attempt to get an idea where that shrine Koyomi had mentioned before had been located. Gym was the last thing on the menu for today, so once we started getting ready to go home, I approached the guys. Oh my god, hey Ichikawa. Is it true that your sister discovered some shrine that is said to grant you some good luck? Oh my. <coughs> Choke in a minute. <coughs> oh, let me guess. You also want to date her. What? Oh. Well, even though I do have to admit she's very attractive, I'm afraid she's already going out with someone. Not to mention, you're not a type. Well, that's horrible! I already got my hands full dealing with Kiyomi. You can keep your sister where she is. Jokes aside, I'm more interested in the shrine. Did you mention where she found it? I didn't knew there, know there was anything near the forest, aside from the dojo. Oh, well, uh, she said something about it being near the river? And quite high up. I'll be honest, I didn't pay too much attention when she was going on about it. Sounds like bloody golden. I mean, she was wearing a top and it was tight. Uh, what? Where's my gun? <laughs> Where's my gun? Please say that she's step. Stop, stop. We don't need to hear the details. I doubt anyone wants to hear you daydream about your sister, my friend. Anyone else who heard about this shrine before? Are you two talking about the luck shrine in the forest? Get that face away from me! <laughs> oh, God! Yes, the one and only. There's supposed to be one near a river, according to Ichikawa's sister. I don't know about that, but there's a... Fiery girl at the Asakura Dojo who knows more. Wait, are you talking about Ariyama Sa Aria Aria Sama? Small, strong, and scary? That's the one. Urza! Titania. Oh, then I can be a bit more Then I can be a bit more help, I bet. Takahiro, I can be, uh, I can be a bit more help, Takahiro Kun. I know where that place is. My voice cracked. I don't think Ariara Senpai will like it if you end up visiting her with your usual tricks in mind. Do I need to remind you what happened last time you tried to peek at her after she finished her training? Oh God, is he the friend of the harem? <laughs> there was blood, sweat, and tears. Sh shut up! I do not go peeking there. That slander, that is. I could sue you. Do not look into the changing rooms after practice when Ariara, shower Ariara Sama is showering. Oh, then you haven't seen her naked yet. <laughs> I've seen a bit of the side boob, but the knot hole I found doesn't really let me get a good view. Alright. There we go. Someone call the cops. Peepin Ichikawa has confessed. I playfully patted Ichikawa's shoulder while I turned around grabbing my bag in the process while I prepared to leave. I suppose this is a mature one. It didn't say mature when I picked her. Oh well, well what to expect from the fan service type. <laughs> anyway, thanks for the tip Ichikawa. I'll let the the judge know you were most helpful during the interrogation. That, this is unfair. I, I was... 
Oh my god. Coerced? I have no idea. I won't say another thing until I speak to my lawyers. <laughs> dot, dot, dot. Dot, dot, dot. Dot, dot, Music fade. Senbon Sakura Kageyoshi. <laughs> I'm sorry, I have two cherry blossoms. Um, so I will end episode one off here. Um, two reasons. One, it is on low digits, and I need the frame rate at least, and I need to check if my voice is recording. And two, I get this episode out early today. So yeah, good day. <laughs>